everybody and welcome back to my channel teen mom two star kaylin lowry is so addicted to attention it is not even funny okay so her latest ploy for a little bit more attention and headlines which here i am giving it to her on my little old youtube channel is to launch an only fans account yes that only fans the place where washed up reality television stars and instagram models go to sell their nude photos and videos so kale is also the same person who gave birth literally like just the other week still lactating still wearing diapers um, you know, talking about how she wants the next guy to marry her, uh, X, Y, Z. She wants a boyfriend, all this stuff. Like she's just so occupied with the most random things right now that I really don't even know what to say. Like how she even came up with the idea to launch an OnlyFans right now at this very sensitive place in her life is beyond me but anyway she's done it and she announced the news via a photograph of herself on instagram stories so she is sticking out her tongue maybe it's a little bit of a preview of what we're gonna see on her only fans gag um and she says listen i'm podcasting about why i made an only fans uh swipe up and she's asking people to um subscribe to her podcast as we await the episode. You know that I'm gonna be there, regretfully, um, listening to every little bit of it so that I could recap it for you so you don't have to. Um, but in the meantime, I did a little bit of searching and I found her OnlyFans account. So far, she's got two posts on it um, and the pricing for her OnlyFans is insane. I don't, I don't subscribe to anyone on OnlyFans, so I don't know how much these things cost, but the subscription is 20 US dollars a month to see photos of Kale? That is so wild to me. And I say that because Kale is someone who posts like her every move a hundred times a day on social media anyway. So I don't understand why anyone would be paying for photos of her. Um, second of all, she, you know, when she tries to do sexy photos, they don't exactly translate. You know, the last time she tried to do sexy. She involved a, a very innocent um, horse in her shenanigans and got blown up all over the internet. Even mainstream celebrities were talking about, what the heck are you doing, girl? So, um, you know, God bless anyone paying this kind of money to see Kale attempt to be sexy. For what it's worth, OnlyFans is not exclusively for adult content. You know, it is just like a membership site where people could put literally anything they want. It's just that it is mainly famous for adult content because it's one of the only like platforms that doesn't um, ban members for posting nudes, uh, photos, videos, like whatever of that sort. So that is why it is heavily associated with it, but it is not exclusively for that. So who knows what it is that Kale is going to do just based off the two photos she posted here. So in terms of her header photo, you see her in a long sleeve sweater, um, some ripped black jeans and some Chelsea ankle boots. You know what I mean? It's not exactly screaming. I'm about to show you my coochie or anything like that. So she could just be trying to get a little bit of like, I don't know, like just like a fan site or something. I don't know what it is. And then her actual profile photo is of her when she was on that vacation in Costa Rica with Leah and Leah's sister. She's wearing a bikini and it's not a very revealing bikini. You don't even see any real butt cheek in it. So I suspect that she's not going to be heavily like, you know, adult content -y with her only fans i think she'll probably just like try to like thirst trap a little bit and leave it there but guys i really do wonder like how this girl does not get tired of embarrassing herself you know and it feels so rude to say that but truly like do you never get tired like your poor kids are in school with you know kids who know about the show who know about you who probably secret follow secretly follow you their parents probably follow you and here you are just doing all the most like ratchet like like weird things you don't need to do this kale you make so much money on team mom too you've got a podcast with a lot of sponsors you sell like hair care stuff you do a lot of social media advertisements like you make good money you own multiple homes so what are you doing this is just it's not necessary in my humble opinion but maybe you guys have a different opinion there i just i don't really see it for her in this realm i you know i i've never really heard of anyone lusting after her so her going on only fans is a little bit weird to me it seems like very off brand for her um another thing that um is quite interesting to me is that she's got two posts up already um, and she's got 14 likes, which 
does that mean she's got 14 followers? I don't really know how OnlyFans work. I'm just basing it off of what I see here. Um, she also gives 10% off, so it's only $54 for three months. I don't know, y'all. Uh, you know what? When she starts racking up more posts, maybe I will get a one-month um, subscription to see what's going on over there to report for you. But let's just say my eyes have been through a lot already after seeing the horse picture that she thought was sexy. So uh, give me some time to rest a little bit, recuperate. I'm a very innocent young girl. <laughs> so I'm going to need a moment, y'all. Uh, but I think that that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just get like a one-month subscription once she already has uploaded quite a little bit. And I'll show you what's there. I'll talk to you about it. I don't know, y'all. Guys, what do you think about Kale joining OnlyFans? Is she like getting way too thirsty to handle or is this a smart business move? Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey.